make it pretty like those Instagram things that I don't have. I don't have Instagram. You know why? Because I ain't got time for Instagram. What's up? Welcome to my kitchen. My new kitchen that my cat is climbing all over. Long time no see. Let's make some healthy vegan pancakes. <gasps> ah! Alright, so I'm gonna be turning you guys downward here in like a second. I'm just gonna show you what all you're gonna need. So this is a spelt flour pancake recipe, so obviously you need your spelt flour. This stuff's really good. I like this kind of flour better than like oat flour or gluten-free flour. Did you ever like that gluten-free flour, dude? I don't like it either. I thought it tasted like crap. But this tastes really freaking good. So I suggest use this and it has a lot of health benefits to it, which I can insert somewhere in here. And then uh, soy milk. You're gonna need that or any other kind of milk that you like, but I prefer this because it tastes really good and it has vanilla flavor. So since this already had vanilla flavor, we're still going to add a little bit of vanilla extract. Only a little bit. You don't need a lot. I kind of just eye it. Also agave. You want to mix some of the agave in. <laughs> Sorry, hair is getting in my way. You want to mix some of your agave in with the mixture. Alright, so you get wrong side. Alright, so you get your measuring cup and uh, I will normally fill it up to about one. Now this will make about probably two pancakes. I make my pancakes pretty big. Let's just, let's call that one. That back up. And then I just kind of, I'll just dump it in here. Okay, so you got that. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I'm an idiot. You need baking powder. I totally forgot about that. I'm sorry. So we'll get that. We'll, we'll get to that actually right now. One tablespoon. I might use two actually. Yeah, I'm going to use two of these. So baking powder here. Get your uh, soy milk or whatever kind of milk you want to use. Fill it up to about, let's do, I'm going to say like one cup for right now. Normally I eyeball this. Make sure baking powder up with your spelt flour. Start dumping. So I'm not gonna add this little tiny bit that I have left. It's very little. Because once I add the agave syrup here, it'll make it a little bit more watery. I'm gonna add some of my vanilla extract here. And you don't have to add this if you don't want to. I just put like, whoop, that was a little too much, but oh well. Just like a little tiny bit, about one half tablespoon. I don't want to add too much because last time, the times I've added too much agave, it, it turned out a little, actually I'm going to use another one, another one half. And that's good. Last time I've, I've used too much of the agave and it kind of makes it um, mushy and it doesn't make it fluffy. So you don't want to add too much of it. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of butter on the stick. If you want to add some chocolate chips, you can get these. It's probably blurry. These are really, really good. Dairy nut and silly free. Oh, yeah. gonna look a little toasted but that's okay 
Ain't that right, Dean? And then you got your chocolate chip side here. Um, I would say add more baking powder. I normally eye it, so I was trying to do some measurements for you guys so you kind of get a gist of how to make it. Um, but yeah, get some syrup. Make it look all pretty. Oh yeah. oh yeah, Dean. Make it look pretty. Like those Instagram things that I don't have. I don't have Instagram. You know why? Because I ain't got time for Instagram. I barely have time to make videos. Just kind of rub, rub it in. Get a, get a bite out of there. And you know what? It tastes like a pancake. You want some? Eat it. Ew, I'm getting it on the, on, on the, oops. That's it for this video. If you make it, let me know.